Now, before we move any further, uh, we also need to create another image, which will create this transparent background here. So back to the Photoshop, there we go. Uh, create a new image and call it transparent. And it's going to be five pixels by five pixels. Now, if we open the layers panel, unlock the background and fill it up with uh, black color. Now, if you use transparent opacity and reduce it to, let's say, 50%, might be a little bit too transparent. Let's make it 60%. File, save for weapon devices and transparent PNG, just fine. You can save it save it to downloads for the time being and that's all good now if we open our downloads folder and drag the transparent to our structure inside of the images folder okay so we are now ready to start uh, applying styles but before we do this let's create the structure of the page we I mean we've got a structure of the page let's create the structure of our gallery so we're going to start with the diff with ID wrapper. And everything is going to be happening here. So we've got wrapper now with diff with the ID gallery. Inside of this gallery GIF, we're going to create another diff with ID gallery photos. Inside of the gallery photo, we create the diff without any attributes. Then inside of this diff, we'll create the image tag, src, and this is going to be the path to the file. So images, slide, show, and we'll uh, create the image uh, 01.jpg. Then we will have next attribute will be alt. Uh, I'm just going to put some temporary uh, content here. So image one, after alt, we're going to have width, which will be six to five, and height, which will be three, four, seven. You obviously can put here whatever dimensions your images will have. Now, after this image, we're going to create the container for the caption. So div with a class gallery caption. Inside of, inside of this gallery caption div, we're going to create div with a class gallery hyphen caption hyphen content. And whatever content we want to put here, we're going to put h2 tag with image <coughs> heading and paragraph saying something like image description goals here. Okay, so this is first element. Then if we copy the entire thing with this blank div, paste it underneath a few lines and another one. So we're going to have like three images for the time being. So image 02, heading 2, just so we can distinguish between the, the images, then slideshow th image 3 and heading 3. Now, uh, before we move any further, we also need to create the uh, na container for the navigation. So within our gallery container, we're going to create another div with the ID gallery navigation, and we leave it empty. So the structure of our page is now ready. Uh, what we need to do now is to uh, add some images. So I'm going to add some images which I've created earlier, and I'm going to put them inside of the slideshow folder within the images directory. And this is what you should do. Also do prepare some images, make sure that the dimensions obviously which you put here match the dimensions of the images, and we continue in the next video.